Hey, Lisa here. I get bored setting goals. I know, not exactly what you thought I was going to say on this video, but I do. It's just, I don't know if it's because I've been doing SMART goals for so long that I just, they don't energize me. And I know the importance of setting goals. I know how important that is for your business and your life. And I read this really, about this really cool way of setting goals. Instead of the SMART method, you use the HEART method. So this was in Karen Valensic's e-blast where she had read a book from Jen Quick called Limitless. So I've not read the book. I have not dive, dove deep into this concept. I do like what the HEART acronym stands for. And it's what I'm going to use now as I set goals. So I'm going to read it, the letters to you. And then you decide if you want to try this too. H is for a healthy goal, meaning how does the goal support your well-being? E is enduring. Will it keep you going through difficult times? A is alluring. Rather than having to push to work on it, is it exciting? And does it pull you in? R is for relevant. How does the goal relate to a challenge, your purpose, or your values? And T is truth. Is it true for you or for someone else? When I started this video for you, I was going to tell you, this is my letter that I think is the best. Or I like, you know, what do you think about these? I like all of them. Like all of them resonate with me. And I'm going to try this next. So I'm curious, what do you do when you're setting goals? Because one of the ways that you can be effective and efficient and productive is to actually have a path that you're following. And how do you follow that path? What's your favorite goal setting strategy? Post it in the comments below.